in the previous class we were learning about how we match a job with a person right so we know selecting the right man for the right job it is the essential of staffing and until and unless we do that no matter what whatever we do our company will not succeed we may be having a good plan we may be having a good organization everything might be set but without having good staff we cannot succeed right so for that we need good staff so and for good getting good staff we need a proper staffing process right selecting right man for the right job right so for that we need to understand what the job is the first and foremost thing is we need to identify what the job is we need to analyze about the job okay so every job will have a certain requirement right suppose we are having we are saying we are having a translator job okay to translate english to malayalam right so what is the basic requirement you should know english you should know malayalam right so every job will have a certain requirement which the the employee should meet it right so and what is job analysis job analysis is the study is the study of these requirements job analysis is the study of these requirements and the factors which influence the and the factors which influence them right this is the study of the uh, study of these requirements and the factors which influence the requirements it is used to identify the qualities which a worker must have to do the job okay so what are the qualities like we said for a translator we should be well versed in english and malayalam if the job is so right and what are the uh, factors on which or what are the things on which job analysis concentrate concentrates on first and foremost thing is performance standards okay job analysis concentrates on performance standard right so performance standard means what are we talking about whether we are talking about quality or quantity suppose we are talking in terms of quality it means we should have good uh workers right experienced workers then only they can produce quality unless the experienced work can also produce but quality will produce we are talking quality or quantity so that has to be considered right next is the activities to be considered work activities what are the activities which has to be performed okay what are the activities which has to be performed right we, we said uh, when we play a game okay we have level 1 and level 3 like we different level similarly after when we complete the level we reach the game similarly for an job also we have, we have we can divide it into certain tasks okay this thing has to be completed so that and the job will be completed once all the tasks are completed the job will be completed right then what are the technologies okay we should do we should make note of the technologies available whether can we uh, whether there are certain technologies are available so are uh, for the for our job so can we have employees who have knowledge in that uh, about that technology maybe a software maybe an equipment okay so whenever we are uh, selecting an employee we will be open to that okay whether the employee knows about that uh, um that technology right so tell me make a note of the technologies so then is what is the context of the job okay identification of work working conditions has to be identified what are the work schedules has to be looked into and the social conditions we have to look into and we have to look into the compensation right so in job under the where where are we basically what are we going to do and where are we going to do so we know right the next is personal requirement so uh, job analysis means we are studying about the requirements requirements for a job and the factors which influence the requirements and what are the factors which we consider one is first the quality whether we are talking in terms of quality or quantity right then we talk into we talk uh, about the works to be completed like right? performance standard works to be completed then the technology is involved then the job context and finally we know what are the requirements okay 
So we know we are talking in terms of if we are talking in terms of performance quality, we need an experienced worker. We need a skilled worker, right? Then we are talking in terms of technology. We know we need a certain technology person, person with the technology know how. So we will be keeping that role into his education, his training. When pers person requirement is seen, we we look into all these things. We identify the skills, education, experience, training, and other attributes which will help the help with the job. All these things has to be considered, right? Yeah. So this is job analysis. The first step in matching a person with the job. First step in selecting a person is doing the job analysis and then understanding what is the requirements for the particular job okay? and what are the factors which influence the this requirement. This thing we have to be very we have to be very clear about that. And what are the factors? One is performance factors, work, work, then technologies, the context and personal requirements. All these factors have to be considered by doing by doing a job analysis. Okay. So once we have done the job analysis, we know what are the requirements. Okay. What and what are the requirements for the particular job? We can have an idea about that. So the next step is we need to select the person. So we know what is the we know everything about the job. Okay. So we know what the, what the job is and what kind of person is needed for the job. Okay. We know that. Next, next is selection. So selection means it is a process of choosing the, the most suitable person for the current position or future position from among candidates within the organization or from outside. Right. So what happens is in uh, a selection process, we are choosing the best possible or most suitable or the most suitable person for the job right and the job may be or the position may be open right now okay? it may be an immediate requirement it may be an immediate requirement or it may be for a future post okay so sometimes i'll have an immediate requirement i'll be planning to uh open a new wing so it may be for immediately i need a person or it may be for a future post, future requirement okay sometimes what i'll do after six months i'm going to open a new wing I need a person. Okay, that may be the case. So either of them, right? Then from where do we select? I it might be from among the candidates within my organization. Okay, within our organization, I can select someone. Okay, I can give an additional task or give them a promotion. Or if it is that it's not possible, then I have to select from outside. Okay, selection is the process of choosing the most suitable for person for the current position or future positions. From among the candidates within an organization or from outside the organization. So there are basically three steps are there. One is choosing the best possible person. Then position may be current or future. Then uh, with from choosing may be done from within the organization or from outside the organization. Right? These three possibilities are there. Basically, what are we doing? We are choosing the best person for our company. Who, who will be best with our company? That is the, what we are doing. So, what we have to understand is whenever we are saying about selection, we are doing one more thing that is, we are rejecting also. Right? The selection and rejection goes hand in hand. So when I am saying I am selecting a person, that means I may be rejecting 100%. Okay? The selection process involves rejection of unsuitable applicants also. So, you should be able to do that also. It's not only selection best suitable but it is rejection of rejection of unsuitable also okay then requirement process uh, recruitment process proceed selection okay we know recruitment means we are uh, making sure that uh, we have an opportunity we have an opportunity or we have an opening we are making sure that people know about this and people will apply for the job okay apply for this opening that process is recruitment so after recruitment we will be having a pool and from that pool we will select the best suitable candidates Right. So that's selection. And now, what are the process in selection? How do we? What are the process? The first step is we need to obtain the uh, job description and job specification that we can do get it from the job analysis. Okay. So we have done the job analysis. We know everything about the job. We know what is the description of the job. What is the and uh, specification? Okay. The job description. It involves everything about the job, right? Uh, that is the title, department in which we had to work, or works which has which has to be performed. All these things will come under job description, and specification will give us a basis for uh, assessment. Okay, so we will be having a certain job. Okay, maybe uh, we'll take an example of a site. 
okay so we have a requirement of this uh education should be b tech in civil engineering and the experience should be this so there will be many candidates who are having the same, same background right but what will happen is certain candidates will have something special okay maybe they know a software or maybe they know a no an addition language or maybe they know uh an equipment to be used or maybe they are very their house is very close to the site okay so people they know the uh, surrounding area they know the people so they can interact better so these things will be will, will have to be con considered so while job specification helps us to distinguish between essential and desirable okay the so essential means his education his experience all these things becomes essential and desirable means uh like this extra which which comes okay so he is staying close by maybe he's a uh, uh oh i'm saying he he or she he, is, he or she is very close uh close by like that uh, something come becomes desirable so we need can distinguish between them okay so it doesn't mean that a person is very staying close to us uh, close to us right but he is incapable we should really give the job no there is something called essential requirements are there so he should meet the essential requirements once you have met the essential requirements we look into desirable also right yeah so that is the case so what next is application form so once i have i know what are the my desirable uh, my requirements desirable and essential requirements i will send out a application form so it is basically a screen okay i can do screening process so i will put in what and all are my requirements my uh, mark you should have pgp of this much He should have he or she should have an experience of this much right this much years experience uh, background in certain language that maybe background in uh, python maybe like that i'll put in a application form so what will happen so i can whenever people are uh, submitting the application form i can assess the or i can get the information like about his education his training work experience age all these things can be they uh, can be uh, received from the application form And also, application form we said, right? It's the screening mechanism. So, what will happen is people will get discouraged. Also, sometimes what we can we can, if it is an online application, we can say it's only yes. Okay, CDTA, uh, eight point eight point zero plus, yes. We can disable no. So only yes, people can, uh, apply. Or else, sometimes what will happen? They will say, okay, CDTA, they are asking CDTA for eight point zero. I don't have. It. So people will be discouraged to apply itself. So we can have a screen rather than lot of people. Lot of people coming, uh, applying, and that means those who are, those do not meet our requirements. We don't have to sit them look into the all the applications, right? Next, we have to we have we give them test. So once we get the application forms, we look into the application form and then we'll call up the people. Then we'll give them test. Sometimes depending on numbers, we'll give them test. The test may be aptitude test may be there. A trait test may be there, a psychological test may be there. Okay, these things are used to uh, measure the abilities, right? So you may be going for a uh, maybe a software job, a designer or a coder. So you'll be saying, "I am well versed in this particular language," right? So the person, uh, the manager or the interviewer, whatever whoever may be, they'll give you a program. So write a program to solve this. So you you'll have to do the write the program there. Then and then, and show them. So they will look into what you are doing, right? How what is your skill level? So they can assess that, and right? what is the approach you are taking. All these things can be taken. They can they can consider. So that will be your trade test. Maybe uh, using a certain software, maybe your trade test. Okay? Maybe using an equipment, maybe your trade test. That will depend, right? So a psychological end. After you know what is there, right? Sometimes for certain jobs you need a psychological edge, so that will be that. Maybe for an astronaut, okay, he has to stay there without any human contact. So there we have to take the psychological test has to be performed. So depending upon the job, certain test will be performed. Right. Next comes interview. So interview in a one sentence we can say interview is a conversation between the and in applicant and the interviewer. Okay, it's a conversation, one-on-one -on -one conversation. Maybe so. What we have to understand here is the interviewer. He may be a single person, okay, or it may be a panel. Maybe if we are having a one-on-one -on -one, face to face interview, may be happening, okay, or it may be in a, like what um, 
like a on like to via Skype or Google Meet or Zoom. Uh, it may be a Zoom interview. Okay, that will depend upon the situation, right? So what actually what a interview per uh, interview in certain interviews what happens is they will be assessing your ability. Okay, they will be assessing your mentality a lot. Right? How do you respond? Okay, how do you respond to certain answers or certain questions? Okay, are you getting angry? Are you a good person? So they will be judging you based on that only. Okay, it's not only your technical knowledge, but there you are. Sometimes during interview, psychological test will be conducted. They will be asking certain questions to measure your psyche. Okay, how are you reacting? Right. So here, yeah, your suitability and uh, your ability, everything will be judged by the interviewer. Okay. Yes, it's a, is it a good method? Yes, but there are drawbacks also. Right. Once you have passed the interview, then the next step is physical education or physical examination. Physical examination means you are uh, basically do you have any disabilities? Okay. Uh, disabilities that hinder the performance of the job. Okay. So if you are if you are applying for a certain job and they will check whether you are having any disabilities that will prevent you from doing that particular job. Okay. It's not that you should not have any disabilities. It is that so are you up for doing that job? That kind of a physical ability because you know in police and all we, we should see movies and all we see in the physical examination right running this much meters in this much seconds or uh, doing uh, this much pull ups right that will because there's a, there's a physical exertion is involved so you should be physically fit for doing a police job that's why so demanding upon your job you will be subjected to certain physical uh, examination also right Maybe for a certain job, you shouldn't have the blood pressure should be so, so and so. You should not have any other diseases like that. Condition may be changed. It will depend upon the job. It is not there. For every job, it is there. But for some jobs, it might be there. Right? And finally, after you, you have passed the physical uh, examination, the next process is your induction and orientation. Right? So induction and orientation means you, are, you have been welcomed to the company. Now you need to be introduced. You need to be introduced to what the company is for. Public stand for what is the goals, what are the jobs, what are you supposed to do you have to introduce your, your friends, sorry, uh, your colleagues. All these things have to be done. So that comes under introduction and induction and orientation. So you have undergone this thing, right? Then you joined your BTEC. First day, uh, your staff advisor came in. She, he or she explained everything for you. What is the college about? What is What are we going to do? These things were. Where is the labs? Where is the canteen? Where is the ground? Right. All these things were explained to you. When, what, are, what, are, what do we do in our arts fest? What do we do in our tech fest? Right. All these things would have been explained to you. Then your teacher, subject teacher comes in. So the teacher will explain to you, okay, what is, uh, what are we expecting from you? This is the what we have to do in engineering. Right. You have undergone this induction and induction process. Right. So uh, in the beginning, your teacher, one, one of it, so suppose what happens is uh, when a new teacher comes in, your staff advisor, your HOD will bring him or her to your college, your classroom and introduce her. Right? This is your new teacher and these are my students. There will be a formal introduction also. After that, you'll get to, you'll get to know your teacher, you'll get to know your college and you'll be you'll start getting into a routine. you start your work. Okay? That is the process. So, whenever we say selection or whenever we say matching a person with a job or matching a job with a person, the first thing we have to do is study about the job, analyze the job. What are the requirements? Right? What are the requirements? What and all has to be done? What are the factors has to be effect requirements? Then while assessing that, we'll take the performance standard into consideration. What are the works to be done? Okay? What are the technologies involved? Right? Then what is the uh, person? Okay, what are the requirements of the person? What is the job context, work context? What is it? All these things will be considered and then we'll decide on the job. Okay, what are the factors? Then Based on job analysis, we know we do selection, right? We know job description and job specification. Okay, so by using that, we can select the best suitable person for the job, right? It may be from the company or from the outside. It may be for immediate immediate recruitment or it may be for a future work, right? This is how we do selection. Okay. Now, the next topic what we have to look is uh, something called a system approach okay system approach to uh, selection right system so we have learned about system approach remember 
in the second module when we learned about the management theories and how the management came into this sort of a form and what we see today so we had seen the called the system approach okay so what was system approach system approach means we are we have four elements right we have an input we have a transformation process and we'll have an output right and finally from the output we'll get the feedbacks which will be fed into the input and which will uh, help us in the further uh, next cycle right so we'll be having certain inputs we'll be undergoing some sort of transformation process and finally we'll get an output right similar way the same approach okay same approach can be applied to approach can be applied to selection system approach to management so the same this can be applied to system approach can be applied to selection also okay so the question can, can be uh, you have a system approach in uh, second module and you are, you are again learning a system approach to selection in fifth module right so so basically what is what you have to understand is whenever like what we have said we have learned the we have seen the selection process we have done it a very systematic manner right so sometimes what happens is uh, there may uh, owner may, may be there he's having a he's running a company right so somebody out of recommendation okay somebody out of recommendation or the person may be known to the owner he comes for a job and the owner say okay you can i know you you can you can take a job okay that's also a possibility okay but it will work in a very small factor only but there's a possibility but what we have to understand is we for any company to be successful we should have a systematic it should be systematic right everything should be done systematically so similarly selection process also must be done in a very systematic manner like what we have done what we have seen right now it was done in a very systematic manner we analyze the job we identify the requirements we identify the uh, personal requirements then based on that we then we have done uh, we we have the application form we then uh, test we have we, we have conducted test we then what then we in the personal interviews have been done then if you get examination has been done all this stuff the step by step has been done so whenever you are uh, doing something we are placing someone we are selecting someone it should be done in a very systematic manner then only our company can succeed okay because uh, the personal the personal performance will determine how the company will work right no matter first itself we have said no matter our company may be having good resources may be having a good plan a good organization setup may be there but if the staff if the workers are not working properly we will not succeed so a systematic approach is essential to manager selection okay uh, and to assess the person and future needs so manager personnel as qualified managers are critical to the success of an organization so we should know okay we should know what is our requirement right how many workers do we how many managers do we have how many managers may be needed okay who are all working above par below average who, who, who all are there above average who all are there this thing has to be considered right because what happens is uh, we we see we have seen manager inventory chart right so based on manager inventory chart we know who all are working above average who all are working below average. sometimes a manager may be close to retirement right so certain managers are maybe working exceptionally well so they should be complimented Okay, they should be given the reward otherwise what will happen is a good worker will always have opportunity okay it's not that he will always be with you so you have to identify those person you have to give incentives to those person so you have to be very careful about the managers okay because um, uh, only if we have good managers only our company will succeed right so every system has four elements right basically we know input is there there's a transformation process there's output and feedback So input will input will inputs will undergo a transformation process and will form an output. This output will act as a feedback to the input. So next time when we are change doing, we'll be having certain changes to be made, right? So we'll see that uh, block diagram later. So we shall see what is the uh, overview, right? So uh, the manager requirements plan is based on the firm's objectives. Focus, plans, and strategies. Okay, so requirement will be based on what is the company's objective. Okay, company's objective there. What is their focus? What is the plan? Okay, all these things will be uh, depend on the. It will determine the personal requirement. How many person we require? Okay, this plan is translated into positional requirements and job design. Okay, 
so which are matched with individual characteristic like intelligence knowledge skills at, attitude and experience so what suppose what happens is uh, we have a company okay we are having a company kannur okay so next we are decided we are we are going to expand right we need to expand so what are, what we are going to do we are going to open an office in kochi right so what the opening an office in kochi becomes our objective our plan okay based on that our plan a new office has been opened so based on our plan we have certain personal requirements right we need a suppose we need a manager a single one manager and two employees so we are just opening we see how how it goes and then we'll uh, manage that's our plan okay that is our strategy so based on our strategy so based on our objective we had we are opening we are expanding so that we made a plan to open up office in kochi so strategy is we'll employ one manager and two employees only and we'll see what is happening okay that's a okay so based on our objective our plan we have we we made a new requirement okay we had a manager requirement and this man is supposed to do jobs a b and c okay manager has to do job a b and c right so uh, in order to do the job a he might need certain he might need he should uh, he should meet certain requirements okay maybe he should know certain language to do uh, job b he should be uh, he should have this much of experience to do c he should have as a factor okay this age should be within this much so these are our requirements so based on our company's goal or objective or plans we have new requirement the okay, manager requirement then based on the manager requirements uh, the and job design okay? the job design means uh, various tasks which has to be performed okay so in order to complete it, like we said in the uh, video game okay uh, the certain task has to be completed right certain task has to be completed and for that so certain task has to be completed so that we can uh, level up the game okay we have finished the game so level 1 level 2 level 3 like that will be the certain level each level has to be completed to finish the game similarly for any job the job can be divided into tasks okay to learn principles of management you should learn module 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and you if you learn module all the six modules module 1 module 2 3 4 5 and 6 you have completed principles of management similarly any job can be divided okay so job design means we are defining the various tasks involved and also what are the methods of performing this job okay what are the methods how do we do okay how do we learn module 1 how do we do module 2 okay sometimes module 1 will be theory module 2 will be uh, problematic so you have to give some more time to module 2 like that okay so job design means we are defining what are the tasks involved and how these tasks are performed see we will see job design in detail later okay so what you understand is the first step is uh, based on our company goal objective plan and strategies we will be having requirement okay a new question will open up new manager question like from kannur we have opened an office in kochi to kochi so since we have opened a office we have a requirement for a manager and a two persons right so each of these persons should have a certain qualifications okay? they should meet certain requirements the the recruitment and selection process must be done with due consideration to internal and external environment okay so we should whenever we are doing this uh, thing we should always consider both internal and external environment so what are the internal environment internal environment may be a company policy okay culture what is the culture what the all these things have to be considered also external environment also has to be done what are the laws the regulations availability of human Efficient humans. All these things have to be considered when you are selecting and recruiting. Okay, you cannot give uh, what you should have certain expectation, but it should be a reasonable expectation. Okay, so that has to be considered. So all these becomes a input. Right, this becomes input. Right. So you, I have a. We are having an office in Kannur. We are going to open an office in Kochi based on a plan. Right. So Kochi office will require. new manager and two staff okay that becomes question becomes open each of them should have certain meet their requirements okay so that becomes your input the next step is we need a transformation process right so these are the inputs we need one manager we need two staff so the time we will say will take 
manager. So I need a new manager, manager, and he should have this much. Uh, his age should be so. His education should be so. Is uh, what mm, uh, experience should be so. So we have a list, right? So that's my input. Now, what has to be done? I have to undergo. We have to undergo something called a transformation process. So, F, so the transformation is effective recruitment and selection. Okay, effective recruitment and selection process will place appropriate people into jobs, so the right man for the right job, so that the organization can meet their goals. This is the transformation process. For the, for the, so, input is my requirement, or uh, transformation process is my selection and recruitment, recruitment and selection. Okay. Because I must be able to choose the correct person. See, why have why are we opened up office in Kochi? Because we need to expand. So if we have good person personal, then only we can expand, right? So after a person is uh, selected, he must be introduced to the job, right? He must be introduced to the job and oriented, like what we have done. So the process, right? Uh, what we have learned in the Previous classes, we are just giving it in a brackets. We are quantifying each each and everything, right? So he has to be oriented. He must be introduced to all the things in the company. Okay. What is the work? Now the employee must carry out the work. Okay. His uh, work will determine the organization performance. So if he is performing well, if every employee is performing well, then the company will also perform well, right? So sometimes what will happen is the company will perform well. But the, due to other some other employees performing well, the company might perform well, but the person manager may not be inapt. Okay, so the per, then we have to do the performance of the employee has to be appraised. We have to assess. Okay, and the, and the one who meets the uh, requirement should be, or uh, goals should be rewarded, and those who do not meet the re uh, requirement should be maybe terminated, maybe uh, demoted or something. They should not be kept in that position because that will demotivate others also. Okay. So on the most uh, development is initiated. So based on this, we can in develop the initiation. And what will be the output? So output is the one second. But for that, so the output will be how well the employees employees promoted or demoted or transferred. Okay, based on the appraisal, and finally we have a feedback. Feedback is this will be well. So we you know this person has performed very well, right? This person has performed very well. So we, whenever we are selecting a new person, yeah, we'll be uh, keeping an eye open for that kind of qualities. He has this kind of qualities. Sometimes a person might not have performed at all. Okay. So next, what we'll do is whenever we are uh, next time when we are recruiting, we'll be filtering the person with that kind of trait. Okay, that if he is having something similar to that person, we will not acquire it. Right? So that is the process. Uh, there are the chart, it's the same thing only. Okay. But it has been promoted, shown in a different way. So in the top we have the manager requirements. Okay. Place on manager requirements and plan. We know what is the position requirements and job design. Okay, we have a question. We have an opening in Kochi. We have a position of a manager. This requirements is so and so. He has to perform the job. He has to do so and so. So he's into the characteristics. So and so. So, so, so he has to perform this job. So he should be. Sometimes a company will be having uh, contacted Japan. Okay, so he must be, he must know Japanese. Okay, that may be into the characteristics which we require. Okay. So based on that too, we will be recruiting. We may be recruiting. We may be selecting. We may be placing. We may be even promoting from uh, within our company. Okay, so whenever we are doing this, we have to consider both external environment and internal environment. Right, external and internal environment has to be considered. Okay, so after that, we will orient them. Okay, so that will be orientation. So, this is a this comes our transformation process. So once they have be oriented, they start their work. So, performance the managerial performance has to be taken into consideration. And also, the, if every manager is performing well. A company will also do well. So the enterprise performance also has to be done, right? So what happens is, whenever we the next step is we need to appraise and rewards, right? So that has to be done. We have to take the company's condition also into uh, criteria. 
that's a criteria because what will happen is the manager may be working exceptionally well but due to some factors the company may not be working may not be working doing good okay company may not be doing good so even though he he or she deserves the reward we may not be able to provide that okay sometimes the company is also doing well we so should be rewarded very well so we call that manager is a uh, say you are doing exceptional but our company as you know our company is not doing well please bear with us once we said we pick up the pace we'll reward you handsomely like that you have to do whenever your appraisal rewards are being given you need to consider all these things okay come uh, his performance also company's performance also okay so based on that you may be promoted you may be demoted or you may be asked to retire okay so this will act as an input for in the future okay in for the future so this will be the feedback okay there will be a feedback sometimes what will happen our company may be doing exceptionally good well so we in our coaching office is doing good good so there is a lot of work is coming so we need two or three managers more so our manager requirement increases so the manager requirement increases to three so i need three more managers right so the entire process can be repeated repeated again also sometimes what will happen my our coaching office may not be doing well So I had to close the coaching office. So again, so I had to that will become again my input, right? So whenever we are taking uh, appraisal and reports in consideration, we should take development also. Okay. So while we are doing orientation, we should consider or factor in the development also, right? So we will stop it today. And please let me know if you have any doubts.